tastes great, more killing. Look, both sides are engaging in aerial bombardment, but one side appears to be bomb better at it. <laughs> Most Hamas rockets are neutralized by Israel's Iron Dome technology, and Israeli citizens can even now download a warning app. You'll get it on your phone, and you'll know exactly w what city is being targeted and when it's being targeted. Well, that's the 299 version. The free version. <laughs> In the free version, you have to watch a clip of Transformers 4. And then, <laughs> if you can get it off the screen, they'll tell you where the bomb is going. So Israelis seem to have a high-tech smartphone alert system. How are the Gazans notified? Basically, a small mortar explosion on the roof of a building, which serves as an Israeli warning of an upcoming airstrike. Hmm. So the Israeli military warns Gaza residents of imminent bombing with a smaller warning bombing. <laughs> An amused boom, if you will. And then, at that point... At that point, what are Gazans supposed to do? The Israeli military telephoned the neighbor to warn them to evacuate, but they only had three minutes. Evacuate to where? Have you seen Gaza? It's this bit. Israel blocked this border. Egypt blocked this border. Were well, they supposed to swim for it? Perhaps nothing sums up the asymmetrical nature of this conflict more than a quick check-in with the correspondence assigned to the respective beats. Tonight we have the view from the ground on both sides, starting with Martin Fletcher in Tel Aviv. <laughs> Look at this. The Gaza reporter looks like an extra from the Hurt Locker. <laughs> while the reporter in Israel looks like he's going to bang out his stand-up and then head to a Jimmy Buffett concert. <laughs> They're a living political cartoon for the war in the Middle East. The world, the world has gone mad.